Hey guys, Chris here with Yakima Valley Hops. Wanted to show you guys how to clean a six gallon carboy using the keg and carboy cleaning tablets from Craftmeister. So let's get into it. So here's a few things that I keep in mind when I'm using chemicals. Uh, definitely always read the manufacturer's directions. And there is the three T's of cleaning is time, temperature, titration. Titration is the amount. So if we read these directions, uh, Fill a carboy with hot water, add two tablets per three gallons of water. For heavy soils, use an extra tablet per carboy. Soak for at least 60 minutes, rinse thoroughly, then sanitize. So this has a very heavy soil load for a Krausen ring, so we're gonna go ahead and use five tablets on it. And we will use as hot of water as your water heater can put out, 140, 150 is where you wanna be. You just don't wanna get burned in the process. These chemicals work better at higher temperatures. And then when you rinse it thoroughly, you want to rinse with the same temperature water that you had cleaning in it so you don't ever build a film. All right, so first of all, we're going to want to rinse all the stuff that we can out of here with a good hot rinse. So we're going to dump out all the hops, all the yeast, start our water. We'll try to just get much, as much out as we can just from rinsing and agitation. It'll just save you time so you don't have to clean twice. So we got a little bit of the Krausen ring off. So now we'll fill that with really hot water. So since we have a high soil load, we're gonna go to the top end of the manufacturer's recommendations and do five. I filled the carboy most of the way up and then I'll top it off after I put the tabs in. So as you can see, uh, with oxygenated cleaners, they have bubbles that will come up and with caustics break down organic material. So as the bubble comes across, it's like a scrub brush scrubbing it and it's going all the way up, floating. And the chemicals that are in these cleaners help keep or matter in solution so it doesn't stick to the sides. So we'll put 60 minutes on the clock, let it do its thing, and come back and rinse it. All right, so it's been 60 minutes, and uh, as you can see, it's dissipated a lot of the Krausen ring off of it. Um, there is a little bit, it'll probably come off with the rinse, if not, the next time, if you have a Krausen ring on the top of it, you can pre-soak it with hot water for like 30 minutes prior to the whole process that we did, and it would make that happen a lot faster. So let's uh, get her dumped out and hot rinse it. There, you can cover the top and manually scrub it just to make sure everything's out of it. Obviously, it's not that easy with glass carboys, but since we got plastic, it's fairly easy. And then your water, nice and hot, just as hot as it was when we rinsed it. Same thing, just a little agitation goes a long way. You just want to keep rinsing until you really don't see any bubbles, and then you're going to want to do a couple of rinses after that. Uh, typically, in breweries, you'll rinse everything three times to make sure that there's no residue. Now you just want to visually inspect and make sure it is clean. If not, you could scrub it or do the process over again. Like I said, if you do pre-soak the Krausen ring, it's way easier to come off than it being dried like we did. So you can't sanitize anything that's not clean. So you always visually inspect to make sure that it's clean. And that's it. We'll see you guys next time.